right now, we just want to lift up your name. It is the only name that saves. And Father, we're here as brothers and sisters in Christ to glorify you. Lord, I just pray that the anointing be upon Lisa as she shares with us her testimony about you. Father, I pray that you would help us to just be open to everything that the Holy Spirit has for us this morning through the testimony, through the sermon, through the singing and the worship worship because you are worthy of all our praise. In Jesus' name, we ask these things. Amen. Lisa? Well, good morning. As you all know, my name is Lisa Hughes, and I've been asked to share a testimony, and uh, so I'll get right into it. Um, when I was a kid, there was a lot of bad things that happened to me all throughout my childhood. In fact, my first life memory at age two is pretty heart-wrenching. There are months and even years of my life that are blocked out of my mind. And there are things that I wish were blocked out of my mind. But I'm not going to talk about any of that. Because I don't want to give the devil 15 minutes of fame. And I don't want to hurt the people whom I've chosen to forgive. I did get pretty messed up in my teens, smoking by age 12, drinking by age 13, doing drugs by 14, but I'm not going to talk about that. So I was sneaking out at nights, I was partying, I was seeking attention from guys, I ran away at age 17, and at 18 I quit school and had a child. But I'm not going to talk about any of that either. I continued to make bad decisions well into my 20s, causing myself and my children a lot of grief. I half surrendered to God in my mid-20s, but then I surrendered it all to the Lord at age 30. God even healed me from a terminal disease, and I am not even supposed to be alive right now. But I'm not even going to talk about that. All of that is for another day, or you can talk to me personally, and I'll be glad to share. I'd love to share God's deliverance from all of that with you. The fact that God has brought me out of all of that and through all of that and made me who I am today with the life that I have today and the ministry that I share in is a huge and amazing testimony. Testimonies can be very exciting, can't they? But testimonies can also make us look like faith heroes and like we've conquered the world and like we have perfect spiritual lives, and we're perfect little Christians. But let's be honest, we still have struggles, don't we? So I pray, as I prayed for weeks about what to talk about today and all the angles that this could have went, I felt the Holy Spirit speaking to my heart that he wants me to share the testimony of God's never-ending faithfulness. His faithfulness through my daily struggles with his amazing, sustaining grace, encouragement, help, and mercy that keeps me going day by day, hour by hour, and sometimes minute by minute. So I'm here to say that not only am I not perfect, but I sometimes argue with Paul in my mind as to which one of us is actually the worst. And I'm not kidding. If you're unsure of what I'm talking about, see 1 Timothy 1.15 or Romans 7.15. I'm far from perfect, but I have a God who is. God called me today to be real with you, so here it goes. My spiritual life has been a challenge. I'm told that I'm too hard on myself, but I also know myself better than anyone but God, and sometimes it's just not too pretty. I've had some very rocky times. There have been times where I've actually almost walked away from God. And I came so close that it still makes my heart shake in fear when I think about it. There have been times where I've been so down and discouraged that I just wanted to run away from my life. And times where I've made it harder on myself than it had to be because in my frustration or my rebellion, I chose to not pray or read God's word or seek help until I'd get to the point where I'd be face down on the floor, bawling my eyes out to God. 
And of course, I don't tell people about my struggles because I don't want to look weak or be embarrassed in front of all you perfect, godly men and women. Or I've even been afraid that I'd make God look bad if he, everyone knew how much I struggled. Through God's help, it has gotten much better over the years. But I'm going to be honest and share some of my continuing on and off struggles that I deal with. Anger. Bitterness. Jealousy. Doubt and confusion. Self-esteem issues. Self-pity and depression. Disordered eating. Stinking thinking. Struggling with my past, the battlefield in my mind, and being my own worst enemy. Struggling with forgiving myself, and times of feeling very disconnected from God. Do any of these sound or feel familiar to you? Yeah, I thought so. So the testimony I'm sharing with you today is how faithful my God is. He has stuck with me through all of this. Every day I call out to him for help for one struggle or another, and every day he hears me, and every day he answers me, and he gives me what I need for that day, not only to survive, but to thrive and to grow and to succeed. When we open ourselves up and receive what God has for us each day, it heals our hurts, it encourages our hearts, it gives us peace that we so desperately need, and he, and he gives us the courage to get up the next day with grateful hearts and a peaceful spirit and keep on going. When I do find myself on the floor crying out to God, he always comes, he always intervenes, and he always brings me the peace that passes all understanding. I would be nothing and nowhere without his daily provision. So there it is. God wanted me to be open and honest with you, and I did. But I believe that he's wanting and challenging you to do the same. So be real. Be honest. Be vulnerable. Don't pretend you have it all together. We need each other. So let's be compassionate and not judgmental. We need to feel that it's, it's safe to open up to one another and know that we're loved and that we'll be prayed for. So let's support each other through this challenging life on earth. Life is full of mountains and valleys. Sometimes we're fine. Sometimes we're not. In a minute, I'm going to have the guys play a song, and I'd like to give each and every one of you the opportunity to come up to the altar and connect with and talk with our amazing God. One-on-one, -on -one, just you and God. You can come and kneel at the altar. You can come and stand, or you can even sit in the front pew, whatever you'd like to do. But please just come. Ask him to help you to be real to be open and honest with him and with your Christian family. Ask him to help you through your daily struggles. Ask him to help you love and support your brothers and sisters. Ask him for forgiveness for hiding your flaws and forgiveness for judging others. Go ahead and start the music. 